Carbon dioxide, or CO2, is a gas in the atmosphere. When there is too much of it, it traps the heat of the sun. The temperature of the atmosphere increases and the climate changes. CO2 occurs naturally in the atmosphere, but the combustion of fossil fuels and the destruction of forests, vegetation and organic matter in the soils increases its concentration in the atmosphere leading to climate warming. This can have severe impacts for nature and humans. Forests are important carbon stocks. A mature tropical forest can store large quantities of carbon both in the trees and in the ground. Planting forests on grasslands is often mentioned as a major possibility to reduce CO2 from the atmosphere because of the high capacity that forests have to bind organic carbon in the vegetation and soils. But healthy grasslands are almost as important as carbon stocks. They mainly store carbon in the soil up to a depth of one meter and more. Tropical grasslands can store up to 180 tons of organic carbon per hectare, 20 tons above the ground and 160 tons below the ground. When grasslands are degraded through overgrazing or desertification, they lose up to 50% of their soil organic carbon. In the 1970s, prosopis trees were introduced in eastern Africa to fight desertification and degradation of soils in arid and semi-arid regions. But prosopis became invasive, creating a lot of problems in grasslands. It reduces the diversity and biomass of plant species and consumes a lot of water. Despite of this, some organizations continue to promote it to fight climate change. They say that prosopis can help to store carbon. It is true that an area covered by prosopis can store more carbon than degraded grassland, but healthy grasslands can store as much or even more carbon than prosopis. Therefore, to fight climate change and to secure the livelihoods of communities, it is important to use grasslands in a sustainable way. Particularly, it is important to prevent their degradation through overgrazing or desertification and to restore already degraded grasslands. Invasion of prosopis is not a good solution for storing carbon as it leads to severe environmental and socio-economic problems such as loss of biodiversity, water and fodder for livestock and wildlife. Since 2015, the Woody Weeds Project is conducting research on the impacts of prosopis and other invasive plants in Ethiopia, Kenya and Tanzania. Visit our website www.woodyweeds.org to get more information about the Woody Weeds Project. The Woody Weeds Project is funded by the Swiss National Science Foundation and the Swiss Agency for Development Cooperation.